Oh my God, it's on its side. The chaotic scene unfolding along a rural stretch of northern Montana. This hasn't ha ever happened. An Amtrak passenger train derailing just outside of Joplin Saturday with roughly 160 people on board, including 16 crew members. Oh, the train's destroyed down there. Right? The train was over halfway through its two-day journey from Chicago to Seattle and Portland when around 4 p.m., eight of the train's 10 cars came off the tracks. I'm a pretty big guy, and I was picked up and thrown from my chair straight into the wall. With four cars turned completely on their side, emergency responders had to pull multiple people out of the wreckage. They did have to cut into one of the cars to extract uh, some of the individuals. Many locals in the area quickly rushing in to the crash site to help. I didn't really know what to do. I just heard the screaming for help and ran to that location. Authorities say three people were killed in the accident and five others were in the hospital Sunday in stable condition. Now with the NTSB launching a go team, investigators are carefully clearing the debris, looking for any signs of what caused the deadly crash. It strikes me that it's going to be something to do with the, the train, the train cars it's themselves and how they connected with the track or in some fault or flaw in the track. BNSF, the company that maintains the railroad, says this section of track was inspected just two days before the accident and that positive train control, or PTC, was installed, a safety measure that prevents collisions and derailments by automatically adjusting the train's speed and even braking. Amtrak says it's deeply saddened by the fatal incident and is fully cooperating with investigators. Meantime, those who survived still shaken by the tragedy on the tracks. Miguel, some of the answers as to why this happened may be in that black box or data recorder. Have the investigators been able to find that yet? No word on that exactly yet, Hoda, but we do believe the train does have that event recorder. And if they if it does, we should know exactly how fast the train was traveling and if the brakes were applied before, during or after the derailment. Hoda, back to you. All right, Miguel Almaguer for us in Joplin, Montana. Thank you, Miguel. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.